in this particular video we are going to talk about how to get an analog signal when we talk about analog signal it can be temperature pressure level flow or any continuous changing process parameter that exists in process industry how actually you process that signal from the field instrumentation to your DCS system in this particular tutorial we are going to use Delta V DCS system to get that analog signal and process it and control it by using Delta V DCS first of all if in the case you're not aware about the environment of Delta V DCS for the graphics building and the logical part of it what are the different tools Delta V actually provides you if in the case you haven't watched our earlier videos I'm going to put a link of all our earlier videos in the form of one playlist consider watching it first and then come up to this tutorial now what we have to do is in here you have to just click on new and click on control module we are just naming it with analog so just click OK now you have created a control module when we talk about Siemens PLC and we relate that to the Siemens PLC in short I can see you it's just like to the OB that exists into the Siemens PLC where you can program when we are going to open control module you will see the programming environment of Delta V in order to get into the programming environment of Delta V you have to just right click on that and click open with control studio you will see this kind of environment which actually provides you different options here to program different things by using Delta V for this tutorial we are going to just use IO and from IO we will just drag and drop analog input um, by default this particular function block don't have everything so if in the case you want to add few other things which are important for our analog signal processing what we have to do is right click and we have to select show parameter and we have to select inputs here if you talk about selection of input here whatever you want to get into the input side of this particular block you have to select input and browse so what I'm gonna get in here first of all high limit select OK what else I want to add at the input side of this block I can just right click show parameter browse at the input side you see that we have selected type as input so we are going to make it uh, low limit as well here I just want to add low limit so you see that we have added high limit and low limit next thing is to just save that project and close it I'm gonna assign it to Delta V version 9 yes and you can see that's been added here and now next thing is you can just go and download control module yes we can open it with control studio just want to get into programming environment again and here we have to just open it maximize it if you wanna add some inputs to this particular block you can definitely do that and you get into special items and you wanna place in some input here you can just name it input and you have to select the data type I'm gonna keep it to floating point select OK and connect it from here to this point simulate in and similar way you can get in your output parameter and you have to drop it here you can name it like out and uh, this is going to be parameter type would be floating point just select OK connect your output to that out that's it once you're done with that all you have to do is you have to download that again save and download also that all the changes that you have done it right now that can be downloaded and then you can online it these are the values that we have like 95 or you are seeing some other values you can change them like I can make it like 80 to the high limit you will see that the 80 would be here and um, and definitely you got in some other like, you can change that time as well like uh, for instance you can take take it to five and here you can just enable that simulation 
So after this you can apply any input here and let's see how it works. If in the case I apply for instance 66, you see that 66 value is already here and that's been slowly transmitting to your output. It will get into the value of 66 because we have applied PVF time. So this is if in the case you don't give it this 5 value here, you will see that immediate effect of that input would be transferred to the output. Like for instance, I give it 0 here and I try to change the value, you will see the effect would be immediate. Let me do that, 44, you will see that it would change 44 here and it would immediately change here. So what else? Now if in the case we give some value to this, so uh, you will see that it is going to be not immediate, rather it would apply some delay. This is the simulated environment. If in the case you want to get in your signal from the field, what you can do, I uh, have to just get into IO in, double click on that, browse from here. Whatever input devices, whatever input devices, whatever the instruments are actually connected to your input modules, that all channels will appear here and you can definitely select your channel and you can definitely select your signal that is coming from the field as we are doing it here in a simulation environment. That's why we are not going to select this and we are actually going to use our simulation environment. And if in the case you are not aware about that, what is this uh, block, you can just definitely get into what's this and you can have a look at that references and uh, here you are definitely going to see all the explanation about that. Now if in the case you want to do some alarm setting in this particular block, how you can do that. For instance, you see that we have put in our high limit to 80. We can definitely change our low limit as well here. So what we have to do here is we have to get into the low limit. Where is the, uh, where is our low limit? This is our low limit. If I change it to for instance 10, you will see that our low limit would be changed to 10 here as well. And now if in the case our value gets lower than 10, it should give us a low alarm. And if in the case our value exceeds more than 80, it should give us a high alarm. So how to do that? You got in low activation, all you have to do is right click and um, or you have to make it offline first of all. And get in here, right click and assign alarm. So low activation alarm, you can see here, it's already activated. Um, so what you can do here, you can definitely select that high activation alarm, right click, assign alarm, now it's there. Now after this, you can download, upload and then download, select all, click OK, and um, that's it. And you can just click OK, select yes, and that's it. Now you make it online. For instance, I give it a value of 86, which is more than 80. You will see a high level. It's slowly changing because we have because we have PVF time. So you see that our value one ex when you see that when our value exceeds more than 80, there's a there is an alarm here. Alarm is already activated. Now if in the case I give a value less than 10, for instance 8, it will get back slowly to value 8. You see that it's getting back. And when it reaches to less than 10, our low alarm would be definitely activated. You see that? It's changing and now it's going to be less than 10. You see that our low alarm is already been activated. Here you can definitely select type of alarm, whether it's a critical, it's a warning, or it's just a log. You can definitely select from this setting here, and you can put up your priority based on the critical nature of that alarm. In this particular session, you learn how to get in your analog signal and how to process it into the logical side of DCS. There's another side of that, which is the graphical part, where you actually get in that 
analog signal and display it on DCS screens. If in the case you guys are interested to know about that, all you have to do is write in comment and hit the like button and definitely I'm going to make some tutorial in coming days how to link that process parameter which is coming from the field instrumentation into the DCS the logical part of that site to the graphical part. That's all for today. Till next video, take care and Allah Hafiz.